Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today's Vlogmas Day 29. It is Wednesday. I just filmed a Watch Your Work on a Wednesday video about my little fox rattle. I started working on it last night and then I'm gonna work on it some more today. So I'm gonna put it back in its bag right now so that I don't lose it. I thought I heard Jesse. I thought I heard him say my name, but I don't think so. Or, you know, Mama. <laughs> but this morning I did. Um, sat down and saw the buttons on these little sweaters finally this is the back of it so that's the front and then this one i should have got slightly bigger buttons but she's not gonna be wearing this one like all the time this is like for photos and it's assuming she even fits in it because this is really small and um jesse was a real chunky monkey so if she's born chunky she may not fit this i may just have to donate this <laughs> but this also looks like it could be a doll sweater <laughs> like it could be a like an american doll sweater <laughs> but i finally got the buttons on there so these are the buttons Devin helped me pick out. These ones are like pearly, and these ones are just wood. We thought it went good with the colors, but um, I'm excited to put this on her. I, I know this will fit because it's open in the back. This little this little sweater, I'm a little worried it's not going to fit, <laughs> but oh well, I got the buttons on there finally. I also did some cleaning this morning. I cleaned up the kitchen. I still got a couple hand wash things. I got to wash the air fryer bucket. We had to get a new air fryer because our other one pooped out on us. Um, so I got to wash that little bucket and some knobs that are in there. But I just kind of picked up the kitchen and wiped down the counters and the sink because they needed it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, just did some general. Uh, when we picked up Jesse, I unpacked his bag, which was right there. And he had a bunch of clothes on my mom, so she sent them all home. So I hung them all up and took them to his room. And uh, he's in his room right now watching some TV. And uh, I'm hungry. I gotta get me something to eat. I ate a little bit of chips this morning because <laughs> I was craving something salty. But now I need some, like, actual food. So I'm gonna go find something to eat <laughs> and um yeah I don't I don't know I cleaned up my desk area let me show you it, it wasn't really clean but now it's kind of dirty again this is some happy mocha I'll show eventually <laughs> my sewing machine's over there because I was going to sew and then I got to feeling so bad and then uh, see all these are the hook cases cut and ready to go and these are some notion pouches ready to go and then in this chair there's tote bags ready to go they're all ready to sew I just haven't felt like doing it so I haven't <laughs> But uh, I finished up those towels finally last night. I folded them, put them away. So laundry's caught up until like tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I did clean up this little area a little bit because I, I have a tendency of putting like a lot of paper, not garbage, but like, um, you know, like bills and receipts and stuff, just kind of piling it in there. So I went through that last night and organized it and uh, it looks a little bit better. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just general little cleaning things. So I'm gonna take this back in the living room so I can work on it. Um, I gotta figure out what to make for dinner. I want something like cooked. We've been eating a lot of convenience foods uh, lately because I haven't felt good and Devin hasn't felt good. He's really sore today because he worked last night and he's got work tonight, but they got him in a different area because they're doing inventory. So he's doing stuff he doesn't normally does, so he's really sore, <laughs> but he's in bed now. Um, so I forgot, I wanna, I don't know. I think I, think I might make some, um, Fried, French fried onion chicken. <laughs> it's just chicken breast all cut up into like strips. Um, and then you batter it with like an egg and um, you crush up a bag of French fried onions, which I love, I love those. I could eat those right out of the bag. <laughs> and then you like bread, you bread it with that and cook it and it's really good. Uh, and then I'll make some kind of sides with it. We don't have any vegetables, I gotta go shopping. Unless you count potatoes, which are not really vegetables it's because they're a starch. Um, Maybe get some carrots and some probably Brussels sprouts. That's about the only green thing that me and Devin likes eating that you roast, you know. He likes broccoli, but I don't like broccoli. Well, <laughs> I'll eat it. Like, if we cook it, I'll eat it, but I don't enjoy it. <laughs> I'm such a child. But Brussels sprouts are actually pretty good. They're like little tiny baby cabbages, and they just taste good, and I like cabbage. Um, and they're really good roasted with seasonings on them. I season the heck out of my vegetables when I cook them because that makes them taste better <laughs> but uh i need to go grocery shopping soon well you know put in an order so i need to like go through my cabinets and stuff see what we need because i know we're low on a lot of stuff we're getting low on meat because i only got one more package of chicken breast in the freezer i think we have one pound of ground beef and we have some chicken thighs but Devin's not a big fan of chicken thighs so i'll i'll cook them for myself one day because i love chicken thighs um i like to have pork chops but they're really expensive right now so I have to wait, <laughs> which is crazy because usually pork is one of the cheaper meats. 
uh, let's see here. What else am I going to do today? I'm going to crochet. I'm going to, I got to take a shower later. I got to give Jesse a bath and clean his nails. His little nails get so dirty because he's, he plays, you know, he's a little boy. Uh, probably got to trim his nails. I need to check his toenails too. Uh, I did a lot of cleaning yesterday, so we're good on that. Um, I don't know. There's nothing I need to do today, which is good. You know, I'm resting a lot. Just going to be crocheting a lot. I'll probably play Monopoly with Jesse later. And we'll probably play some um, Mario Party. Uh, he wants me to play Minecraft with him all the time, but I'm not that good at that game. So, I might just play it with him enough to, um, you know, he can do whatever he wants. And I'll just sit there and, like, build a little house or something. Because <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not, like, really good at that game. Uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. It's going to be another boring day. <laughs> but I like days like this, you know. It's just regular life. I like not being busy. I wish I felt like sewing. I just don't have the ump for it. Because I want to get these hook bags out. These hook cases. I know a lot of y'all are interested in them. I cut out a bunch of different prints. There's all kinds of them in there. Llamas and purple and cows. <laughs> I was trying to use up uh, scrappy bits of fabric that I had. It's pretty leaves ones. I like that one myself. And pretty like sunflower ones. These are going to be so pretty. I just haven't felt like doing them. Um... Hopefully, and like these are some these are some of the older prints that I've had bags in, but I uh, had scrap bits, so I'll just make it. I'm gonna make just zipper notion pouches. I wanna I wanna work on them, but like I don't have the oomph to do it. So I don't know. I don't know if those are gonna get sewn before I have the baby. <laughs> I might have to put them in like a box and just put them. I got an empty box right there. An Amazon box. <laughs> I might just pack it all away and just you know leave it sitting in here and then um, work on it after she's born. I'm hoping she's like Jesse. Jesse was such a content little baby. He was, you know, people always warn you about the newborn stage being horrible. And he didn't sleep good, which was like annoying. But the rest of the time he was perfect. He never had a big fit on us. He never had any blow-up diapers on us. He did on his grandparents. <laughs> but um, his baby stage was so easy. He didn't get really, like, hard, hard to deal with until he was, like, one and a half, two years old. And then he was like, ah. Uh. But, um. He was, he was just a calm little baby. He just laid, you know, when they're, when he was in the laying around stage, baby newborn, he just laid and, or he did tummy time and he liked it. And he, when he was awake, he was just a kid little baby looking around and then he slept a lot. So he was easy. So hopefully she will be, but I don't know. I've heard that <laughs> the second one's always harder, but I don't know. I think it depends on people's personalities too and the energy they give out. Cause like my sister's son, Lord have mercy. That kid was annoying. <laughs> Love him to death now. He's 10 now. But um, when he was a newborn, Lord, <laughs> all that kid ever did was cry. I used to go to her house all the time to babysit him so she could sleep because he would just cry constantly. And there was nothing wrong with him. You know, they took him to the doctor. Like he was just a really whiny baby. <laughs> but uh, luckily he grew out of that. Uh, sorry, Hattie, if you're watching this. <laughs> but you know it's true. He was a very cryy baby and was awake all the time. <laughs> but um, I got to experience a lot of his newborn and like baby stages because I was there having her a lot with him. But anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be weird this time because, you know, when we had Jesse, I lived with my sister still. We lived with her, so she helped a lot with him. So this is going to be our first newborn, you know, baby experience in our own place without anybody here to help me. You know, like a lot of nights Dad gonna be at work and I'll just be here with Jesse and the baby. So it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> but I know that my in-laws will be here all the time. They live like right down the road. And um, my sister will probably be here all the time because of, of the baby girl. And um, my mom lives also right down the road but the other opposite direction. So I'll have help if I need it. <laughs> but um, yeah, we gotta get the pack and play here and set it up. We gotta get the car seat here and figure it out. So I want to make sure we got it anchored in the car wrap um, in case I go into labor, you know, anytime I'm getting close. I'm 34 weeks today, so it could happen, you know, at any moment at this point. Um, the baby swing, I got to get that. It's at my sister's still. It's in her shed. I got to get that out of her shed and bring it here and put it together. I'm hoping she loves that because Jesse loved his swing and he's, he's said in it a lot and it helped a lot. And then as he got older, he got into one of those bouncer jumpy things and he loved the heck out of that thing. So that was helpful too. I'd put him in it while I was doing it, you know, stuff. And he'd just bounce around and play. And, uh, and when he had a walker, he loved that walkers too. 
I watched a bunch of my old vlogmases last night. I went and watched the vlog, all of the vlogmases from 2017, which was the first vlogmas I did. And he was like one and a half. And it was so cute seeing him as a little baby again. I miss him. <laughs> but now he's five and a half and in there watching TV and punching on a punching bag. <laughs> he loves that punching bag. He, he goes in there and hits it all the time, which is good. It's a good way for him to get out of anger and stuff better than trying to take it out on us <laughs> but yeah so I gotta figure out what to do where to put this little sprout I think I'm gonna put it by my computer there's one of them things I'm always looking for those I just ordered some of those because we always need these little things <laughs> charger blocks and I gotta figure out what to do with this polar bear I don't know if I want to keep it or give it away it's so cute I could make a little scarf for it it could be like a winter decoration I could put it in my Christmas box That'd be cute. <laughs> and a little Santa hat, because then it looked like a Coca-Cola bear. But yeah. So I'm just sitting here resting. I can't think of anything I need to do today. Which is weird. Because <laughs> usually I have like a whole list of things to do. We will tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday, right? Yeah. Tomorrow me and Dem's gonna be putting up all the Christmas stuff right here. Or can't point to it. These are my the green one's my ornaments. The blue one is like all the other random stuff and then there's more stuff piled on top of it because i have another christmas box in the closet that i have to get out and he's gonna take down a tree and then i have a pile of halloween stuff we gotta put away and then we gotta work on getting a recliner because i need a rocking chair for the baby that's comfortable for me <laughs> so i was looking at big lots they got pretty good deals on recliners so i might get one from there i don't know Anyways, I'm just blabbing at this point, so I'm going to hop off here, and I'll catch up with you guys later. And I think I'll go throw out some chicken. I think I'll make that French onion chicken, because it's good. Maybe make some macaroni and cheese with it, because then Jesse will eat macaroni and cheese. And, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay, I just made Jesse some macaroni, and I'm sitting down. That kid has been eating nothing but macaroni for, like, since Thanksgiving. I'm sitting here working on my poncho, the sleeve, and I read ahead of the pattern. Um, I know I'm gonna have to alter it because it wants me to do 42 rows of the sleeve, and that's before the cuff. I'm starting to think maybe she's not, maybe she, because the girl who runs Sorella <laughs> is a skinny person, but she makes plus sizes of all her things as well I don't think she actually makes them I think she must just like multiply the numbers you know to make it bigger because this is the third time I've made something from her where the plus size is I mean it's like they like like it, it like our arms go down to our knees or something <laughs> uh, no, I know I can't be messing up these patterns that bad because that's ridiculous 42 rows for the sleeves would be twice as long as the whole shirt and I had to shorten the shirt because I did all the rows to the shirt it would have went down too and I'm not a short person I'm 5'7 I'm tall for a girl I don't know I just think it's really weird that they always have those long sleeves on her sweaters I don't think she actually makes the plus sizes I think she just calculates what she thinks it would be or something because that's ridiculous <laughs> I, was, I counted and recounted and I was like why is the sleeve so long and it decreases three times so just like with the everyday cardigan and I'm gonna have to um do a few rows decrease do a few rows decrease and keep trying it on um because there's still a cuff too that I gotta make after the sleeves and the cuff is probably ridiculously long too. No, it's only two rows. <laughs> but um, that is just crazy to me that there are so many rows. I bet the even bigger sizes, because she goes up to 3XL, I think. And it wants it to go up to even more. Like, just because you're overweight doesn't mean that you have ridiculously long arms and legs. It's just crazy. I don't, I don't get that. I don't get why she's making the, the arms so much longer for overweight people. If anything, it would need to be 
wider, which is, you know, understandable, because if you're overweight, you have bigger arms. But you don't have monkey arms. They don't hang down to your knees. <laughs> I don't know. This is the second pattern of hers that I've had this issue with, the sleeves. And uh, I guess someone else has been uh, addressing it. I did see some comments when I'm in Everyday Cardigan about how people had to shorten the sleeves. Shorten the sleeves, shorten the sleeves, because the sleeves were hanging off their arms. I just don't get that. It's like, why well, make the sleeves longer for a plus size person? They don't need to be longer. They need to just be wider. They only need to be longer if it's a tall person or shorter if it's a short person. I don't know. It's just kind of confusing and also kind of annoying. <laughs> like, if I was going to make clothes patterns, I would make one in every size that I was going to put out so that I could, you know, make sure that it was the right size <laughs> and not monkey armed. <laughs> Anyways, that's just my little rant. Um, I hate that because I have to figure out how many rolls to do before I decrease and then do that all the way down to my wrist and then do the cuff. Oh. And this is already going to be big on me. I should have made the large size, I guess. And I am eight months pregnant. I am normally an extra large when I'm not eight months pregnant. So now I would probably be like a 2XL. And this is big on me. And this is supposed to be the extra large. Um, size. So I don't know. I, I'm probably gonna. I tried it on yesterday and it, it just, you know, it's big. I don't like big baggy clothes. Uh, you know, uh, t shirts when I'm laying around the house, but when I, you know, I wanna look nice when I'm wearing something. So I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I don't know. I like making it. I just don't like. If it's gonna be all frumpy on me, I don't wanna wear it. You know, it just looks bad when you wear real frumpy clothes. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll see. <laughs> I hate to frog it because it's a lot of work. <laughs> but, uh, I guess I'll finish it and see what happens and go from there. Hey guys, I'm just sitting in here pulverizing this bag of fried onions. <laughs> it is a powder now, mostly. So that it can bread the chicken here in a little bit. I'm going to start cooking. Whew, I'm not feeling good. I'm even really nauseous today. <laughs> like, I'm really tired because I didn't sleep good last night because I was alone. And when Jesse and Devin are both gone, I don't sleep good. Um, but tonight, Jesse's home, so that'll be good. But I'm just, like, really nauseous today. And I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm going to get ready and go cook in a little bit. Now that I got these all smushed up. Um, my thumbs hurt now from squeezing it. But, yeah, just a little nauseous today. Nothing really else. A little bit of ligament pain, but that's to be expected. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's just boring. Jesse's in there. He said he didn't feel good either, so he's going to lay down and rest. He gave me a big hug, and I told him I'd see him later and have a good rest. <laughs> and he said, see you in an hour. But it sounds like he's playing with toys. I don't think he's actually laying down. But that's okay. But, uh, yeah, he's fed. So now i got to cook to feed me and Devin in a little bit. Whew. And then hopefully get rid of this nausea. I put some water in the fri the freezer so it could get like icy. I like it that way. I gotta put the Grinch up. Um, it's so good with ice in it. So I'm drinking that and I'm hoping that my stomach like chills out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, boring. I got kind of annoyed with that. I got angry at it because of the, all the whole have an alter it thing, so it's just gonna sit there for now. I might work on it later, but right now I'm mad at it. So if I sit down to crochet again, I'm gonna work on the rattle. And that, that pullover is in timeout for right now because it's so annoying to have to, um, cause now I'm gonna have to crochet a little, try it on, crochet a little, try it on, and I hate that. Uh, oh well. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go cook. And then I will probably just sit on the couch because I'm really tired. I, I, the last time I looked at the clock last night, it was 1.28 uh, in the morning. And then I woke up a couple times because I had to go pee. And then Devin, when he came in this morning, he woke me up just coming in. So I only got mm, maybe four or five hours of sleep. And that wasn't consecutive. <laughs> it was broken up. So I'm tired. I'm looking forward to bedtime tonight. And uh, hopefully I'll, I should sleep better tonight with Jesse here. I don't know. I just, when, when I'm all by myself, it's just, I don't sleep good. But he'll be here and Devin's off after tonight. So we've got to run some stuff to the donation center 
tomorrow and also I put in a grocery order. I said I went through my cabinet, cabinet, refrigerator, freezer, and pantry and wrote down all the things that we had. And then I came in here and sat down and wrote down what I could make with what we have. And then just a few filling items. And um, yeah, I, I ordered some baking potatoes. Hopefully whoever picks them picks good ones because I, I want to bake the potato. <laughs> Uh, and we already have bacon bits, sour cream, cheese, all everything, you know, butter on hand. So I just needed the potatoes. Uh, yeah, so we gotta go pick that up tomorrow at, uh, afternoon. It's like between 12 and 1. Because I knew we had to go donate the stuff out of our trunk first and then go <laughs> um, pick up the groceries so that they can put them in the trunk. Yeah, and that's probably all I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm just gonna come back home and chill. <laughs> I have a video planned for tomorrow, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, it's my goals. My 2021 goals going over them. And then my 2022 goals will come out on January 1st. And uh, they're not as big as normal because I'm gonna be busy a lot next year. But um, still, I'll record them. <laughs> if I'm gonna go get this going. Because it's a little after two and he wants up at three. So I want the food to be done when he gets up. I might pop back in later, at least some clips, because I'm sure me and Jess will end up playing games later. We usually do in the evening. And I'll probably work on that little rattle. And that'll probably be most of what I do today. I'm just tired. I want to go to bed, but I have to wait till Jesse's tired, you know. So, yeah, I'll catch up later. Hey guys, it's later. <clears throat> Devin just left for work. I got my pullover laid out here. I'm staring at it. And it's just so big, I was seriously thinking about ripping it out. It's only got two days worth of work in it, so it's not the end of the world. Mm. There is about 700 yards <laughs> that I'd have to rip out though. But it's so big, it is big on me right now. And I'm eight months pregnant. So, it definitely will not fit me the way I want it to once I'm not pregnant anymore. So, there's no point in finishing it, right? <laughs> I need to just pull it out and uh, start over with a smaller size. I checked my gauge and actually my gauge is only a little bit off to what hers it says. So, and it's only off the lengthwise, not the widthwise. So, there's that. <sighs> it's aggravating because I liked working on it and it's so pretty, but now I'm, I think I'm going to frog it <laughs> and uh, restart it. I have to frog it all the way back to the starting chain. Well, I did um, foundationless double crochets, but um, it's just so big. It is, it is big. And I want it to fit a little bit better when I'm not pregnant anymore. <laughs> so, and I could cinch it up by the sides, but I don't like the way that looks, you know. I want it to be um, fitted. This stinks. <laughs> I don't want to rip it out. I worked on it for two days. I got a lot of work done on it. But it's a quick pattern, so even if I rip it out and start it over, um, in theory it shouldn't take long. It should actually take less time because it'd be smaller. <laughs> but now I'm thinking, should I make the large or should I make the medium? Because the, this is the extra large and my gauge is only a little bit off. Um, and it's coming out more like a 2X. So I'm thinking I should maybe make the medium size And then it'll come out more like extra large. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, we had dinner and it was really good. I'm so glad I cooked it because uh, it was so good. It hit so the spot. Now I need some grapes. <laughs> I've been craving, craving grapes for days and I forgot to order any on my grocery order. I think I might still have time to, put, to add them on there. I'll go look because I've been craving grapes. <laughs> we have other fruit, but I want grapes. <laughs> so... I also got to add some more Tums. I forgot to take my heartburn medicine last night and whew, it has been killing me all day. I've had indigestion all day really bad. 
All right, I'm gonna frog it. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all are gonna freak out, but I'm just gonna frog it and start over. Because in a few days, I can have it back to where it's at right now, but the bright size. And it's okay if it doesn't fit me now because I'm not gonna be pregnant forever. <laughs> so, I'm gonna frog it. Hey guys, it's later. I'm unpacking our tornado bag. <laughs> it was supposed to storm really bad, but luckily most of it missed us. So uh, when we're expecting bad storms, I always pack up a tornado bag <laughs> with uh, clothes for me and, and Jesse and Devin if he's here, medications, <laughs> and my wallet and keys and my hard drive. <laughs> so if anything does happen, we'll have important stuff with us and, um, <clears throat> you know, flashlight and stuff like that. Just just in case <laughs> living in this area, you gotta do stuff like that because tornadoes happen. It's still thundering a little bit, but I uh, checked the radar and it's pretty much blown over us. I hope everybody else is in okay in the path. But I got our stuff put up. I just emptied the dishwasher and the drying area and put more wet dishes over there. A dishwasher does not draw at all. Set you guys down real quick. Turn on the lamp. <laughs> okay, put my reusable bag back in my reusable bag bag. <laughs> okay. Come down to my level. Whew. All right. I haven't started frogging that yet, but I am gonna frog it. I'm gonna start here in just a minute. I ended up watching some videos. And uh, oh, I had to change my shirt because I got food all over my t-shirt earlier. So, um, yeah. But, like I said, it's still, you can kind of hear it thundering a little bit out there. But it's not bad. Jesse's in there watching videos. And uh, I wanted to get the kitchen picked up-ish. Because <laughs> um, so when we go to bed later, it's easier. He already took a bath. I was going to take a shower, but I'm going to wait until the morning. Because I don't want my hair to be wet when I go to bed. Um... Yeah. So my only plans now is to start frogging that cart again, or that pullover. I hate to do that, but it's it's just too big. It's big on me now, and I have a huge belly, <laughs> and I want to be able to wear it after she's born. But I don't want it to be huge, so there's no point in me finishing it if I'm never gonna wear it. So I'm gonna frog it and just start it over in smaller size. I think I will start the medium size and work from there. Um. Yeah, I think I've learned my lesson with Sorella patterns <laughs> and me is to make a smaller size because my cardigans, uh, one's hanging right there, so I pointed over there. My yellow one's hanging up there and my rainbow one's in the closet. They are both big on me and I made them, I think they're the large and they're really big on me. I like cardigans being big, you know, because you can wrap them. But this, this particular thing, the pullover, was meant to be um, form fitting. I was trying to see if there was any water coming in the door. Sometimes the door leaks when it rains. I don't see any. But yeah, so I'm gonna. I'm just gonna rip it out because um, I hate that I worked on it so much. But also, if I put all this work into it and then never wear it, then there's no point in doing it, you know. So I'm gonna rip it out and start it over and move on with my life. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. I'm not worried about it. I'm just gonna mind up the the skeins into balls and um have it in the ball form <laughs> but uh i guess i'll go do that here in a minute it is after six i'm not sure exactly what time it is close to seven <laughs> but um yeah i guess this is probably the last time you see me i might film a little bit of me frogging that <laughs> and uh tomorrow Will be another kind of boringish day. We got to pick up grocery order and possibly check the mail. And yeah, June's kicking right now. I can feel it right at my belly button. I keep hearing water dripping. I'm thinking there might be water coming in under the door. I better check, put a towel down if there is. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and um, start that and then. I'll either insert some of that or I'll just end it here <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to do a, what is tomorrow's video? 
oh, a review of my 2021 goals and also a vlog. Yeah, so two more days until the year's over. So two more vlogs. Vlogmas vlogs. I'll still vlog next year, just not every day. <laughs> um, until, you know, the vlogging months, because I do like doing those. Um, yeah. So I will see you guys in those videos. And I'm going to go frog, frog, frog away. Bye, <laughs> guys.